especially you know because of this pandemic a lot of people who are living in Toronto or Vancouver or bigger cities looking to move into smaller cities but um they were going through the realtors from their own city because they have friends family and and that is causing a lot of issues for the clients who are using those realtors don't work with a realtor who is your friend or your family member from your city when you're looking to buy a property in a complete different city as an investment or a first time home that you want to move and this video is going to answer you why namaskar welcome back to our channel this is aditya soma if you're new here on this channel we talk about a lot of things about real estate windsor real estate sales how to achieve financial freedom using real estate as a vehicle you know all those sort of things if that's something interesting subject for you you know make sure to subscribe and you know uh, leave any questions you have in the comments below so um myself i'm an investor and a realtor and also you know we have a win city family here who are real estate experts um you know who help um um common people you know like you and me to buy sell invest into the right properties you know where your family future is secure so without any due today's topic is you know um some of the major issues that we are seeing nowadays um especially you know because of this pandemic a lot of people who are living in Toronto or Vancouver or bigger cities looking to move into smaller cities but um they were going through the realtors from their own city because they have friends family and and that is causing a lot of issues for the clients who are using those realtors so we're going to discuss you know what kind of challenges that you know people are facing uh, and you know how to navigate that situations mm-hmm. you know what kind of solutions you know um our team have for you um because you know this is something very helpful whether you're a you know homeowner looking to buy or sell or even a realtor who is you know looking to grow this video is very helpful so stick till the end and without any ado uh, i want to introduce you to our awesome team you know if you haven't watched other videos <laughs> so if you guys can you know introduce yourself just brief 10 seconds thank you aditya for those nice words hi this is uh, sri harsha uh, you you can they also call me flying realtor and uh, i've been with the team since 2 years and few months and i'm the senior most in the team <laughs> so jokes apart it's been a great journey working with uh, aditya and uh, with the team as well everyone here we work for each other and we watch our backs and it's been a this helped me in real in making many of my clients realize their dreams yep their investment goals their first time home buying experience it wouldn't have been possible without the team Yeah. Hey everyone, this is Gurinder. I am a real estate investor turned agent. Uh, I recently joined uh, Aditya with the team Win City. It's been two months now, I guess. Yeah, close right? to. But uh, I've known Aditya from last uh, three years, three plus years. Uh, very close friend of mine, and uh, I'm glad uh, that I'm here. With the and, and the birth uh, strategy expert yeah <laughs> well, you have done what like 10 plus birth strategies yeah so that is my bread and butter i would say <laughs> yeah yeah the birth strategy and uh, you might have heard about birth it was quite popular uh, i think from last yeah. few years so yeah i'm here uh, providing uh, value to our clients and uh, helping uh, my fellow agents in the team and uh, we are a small family and uh, we like working with each other and we really have a very collaborative approach when it comes to uh, yep. serving our clients so <laughs> thank you guys now getting into the topic you know before going into the topic now we have a hot topic oh yeah, yeah. the interest rate the interest rate yeah yeah <laughs> so finally the bank of canada passed the rates do you th- what do you think <laughs> is this going to be the last pause or are they going to increase next time yeah how is this going to impact the market let us know in the comments below and what do you guys think oh, well it's an interesting move uh, like with the with the few increases in the mm-hmm. last uh, couple of times uh, people were not expecting that uh, they're going to hold the rate this yeah time. i was actually like yeah. i was 80% or 70% sure it's oh, yeah. going to increase it was like that everybody was like that and we were like okay it's going to increase again yeah. but uh, like it's a very good news that uh, it's on hold right now so i think uh, there is no uh, better time to to jump in and uh, and invest but you know right. like a common client ask a question oh um is 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 it a good time when the rates hold is the property is going to go down or is the property is going to go up 
Well, uh, to to answer that question, when the trend has proven that whenever Bank of Canada holds the rate, yeah, the banks offer a lower rate. That mm. is true. That is true. So yeah, your buyer's no. qualification improves. Yeah, and uh, we all know what happened like during February March twenty twenty three, right? When there was a hold on the on the rates and the market peaked again. Yeah, and there was like multiple offers, the bidding wars. Again, we we see that very often. Right? And we so, started seeing the same thing in last one week. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I multiple think a couple offers, of problems. One offers. property I offered like got like fourteen offers. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's not even cheaper property. It's like eight hundred and fifty thousand property yeah. sold yeah. for a million. Yeah. yeah. So so there are buyers out there. Like it was just like uh, there was a fear in the market and they were holding off to see what's going to happen, right? But yeah, uh, yeah, we see a lot of confidence coming back. And there are more and more buyers coming in, so definitely it's gonna go up. And then uh, the rates that the banks would offer, like I said, they would be very much competitive too. Mm-hmm. Like yes, whoever was getting five point eight, now they may get five point five. That's true. So, yeah. I mean, you know, this is all like emotional, right? Like as of now, no one really knows exactly what is going to happen. Going to happen yeah. It's just the predictions and all these things. And this is why actually we talk about all the time, you know, we don't really focus on just budging that the property values will go up mm-hmm. or the property values will go down. Rather, yeah. you know, where is your situation? Where do you stand financially? What is the right move for your, you know, for you and your family with the financial right. position you're in? Because, you know, this fluctuation will keep on happening yes. it's a cycle yeah true true no, like true. they say you know you marry the property but you date the rate yeah. <laughs> yeah. so the rates keep changing but yeah. the price yeah, yeah price yeah, once you stays, pay stays stays with you yeah, and then the, as of now in Windsor has at least you know from 2022 um, December the, to yeah May 10% appreciation yeah and then from 2020 to April, which is like year and a half, two years, the from there, the, when the real peak, we have a depreciation like almost like 20%. 20%. Yeah, so okay. if you would have bought a property at that time, then your property now depreciated. depreciated yeah. But if you're holding for next five years, then it doesn't what, affect you, right? So, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of the times people focus on like at the moment yeah. and forget to look at if you're a renter living in a property renting for last five years, where did your rent go? Yeah. To the mall. Landlord's mortgage. That's true. Yeah. You paid it off. No, oh, I always <laughs> say real estate is a long term game. Yeah. So you have to look at an average cycle of three to four years, five years at least. Yeah. Uh, there are exceptions. Uh, mm-hmm. If you are someone who is into flipping, then you get affected much more. Very more, yeah. Because it's like short term. But yeah. for somebody who is like a uh, primary residence, home buyer, or like a long term investor, it hardly makes a difference when you yeah. keep that property for three, four years. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a very good point. You know, this is exactly why you have to actually see where are you, what are you trying to right. achieve. Yeah, what are you What's, goals? Yeah, because you know, without knowing that, is it a good time or no? It's mm-hmm. hard to say. Yeah. And that's why we are here, you know, no charge for you. Free call, 30 yeah. minutes <laughs> with us, you know, send us an, uh, a DM on Instagram. You know, we are more than happy to jump on a call just to understand where you are. And, you know, we'll give you a transparent advice. Yeah. You know, we, we there are so many scenarios where we said the sellers, no, don't sell now. Yeah. yeah. And there are scenarios where buyers, you know, they want to buy like 800,000 property. Um, but, you know, their financial situation can only support to have a hold a property for 500,000 only. Yeah, sure, yeah. So we don't know. We cannot give you our specific advice. Mm-hmm. But if you want... A little bit more specific advice. Yeah, DM yeah. us on Instagram. No, well, that's that's where we bring value because we work with a lot of buyers and sellers on daily basis. Yeah, so we can give you real time data, real time analysis that what is going on in the market, how much activity is there. No doubt you have access to Realtor.com, Zucasa, and some other tools, but they are limited. Yeah, right. So they don't give you the entire picture and so all the articles. To, yeah, all the articles like media. It's a it's a fear bombing <laughs> thing, right? So they, they only talk about they the rates. Only talk about the negatives, and you don't get to see what is actually happening yeah. on the ground. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's very much. Yeah, true. and uh, unfortunately, you know, with the growing the depth in the Canada, you know, yeah. one of the biggest uh, news now mm-hmm. is like you know Canada's um, depth is growing crazily. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, how can you avoid that, right? Like, you know, that's where understanding your finances, you know, sticking right. to um, 
things what makes sense to you mm-hmm. not just oh my friend got a brand new home a million dollar home i'm going to go get the same yeah yeah you know, that that's that's not the right approach yeah. for yeah. your this is just digging your own graveyard that is yeah. true yeah so Yep yeah, um and then getting into the, the this interesting topic because you know I never talked about this on 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 the channel um about uh, people working with uh, realtors not from the city okay. that yeah. they are buying so let's say the client you know Harsha is going to buy a property in Windsor mm-hmm. but he lives in Toronto and you're his realtor in Toronto yeah and i have seen so many people who come yeah, with so you yeah instead of you know finding someone in Windsor who knows the market, the market. The market. Exactly. so you know what are your experiences you know what kind of issues that people face well the biggest challenge that outstation realtors face is they don't have access to the comparables they don't know the neighborhoods so what do you mean by comparables comparables like property similar to the one that they want to buy and then uh, what similar property sold in the last 30 days 90 days that's because they don't have access to the and the mls system yeah so that that's a very important point like you know it, it's not like us in canada unfortunately in ontario we don't have access mm-hmm. like not all you cannot see all the data yeah. like live data active data you know mm-hmm. what sold in last one week lot sold in last two weeks because mm-hmm. the market is changing every month right yeah. sometimes even weeks yeah. so they don't have access to the very good point so now what that leads to is they may end up putting a higher offer or they will bring their toronto experiences or hamilton experiences and apply them in the windsor market which yeah doesn't help them yeah you know no, <laughs> definitely that's a very valid point harsha and uh, i see that coming from coming from toronto, toronto yeah so i have lived there for 5 years uh, i see the windsor market the dynamics are very different as compared mm. to the gta market right it's a different market yeah. altogether you cannot have the same practice in gta and apply the same practice in windsor and uh, like it's good that you that some clients they do have like good contacts with realtors good relationship with realtors in gta but when you are looking to buy in a uh, at a distance let's say from uh, gta to to windsor right uh, you should use the local agent because local agent they will provide a lot of value to you in terms of the neighborhoods uh, where to buy where not to buy yeah uh, they can also guide you on what kind of a property can get what kind of a tenant if you are yes. an investor, investor yeah right? exactly uh, they tell you on the sales data what similar property has been selling yeah. for in the last month or so right so you are you have some uh, good information so that you can inform, uh, make an informed decision rather than just shooting in the dark and praying that okay yeah. you will get the property you might end up getting a property but uh, you're not sure if you got a good property at a good price yeah because you know they don't well, know like you like you pointed out it's not only the price yeah you may end up with a bad tenant bad tenant or you yeah. may you may expect an a category tenant but the neighborhood yeah. could be only b b or c even if you yeah. find an a tenant he may leave yeah. in a couple of months That like i did not like the neighbor yeah yeah and and we see we hear these stories every day from from our clients who have had same kind of challenges same kind of issues right and then yep. we have to jump in and guide them throughout the process right? so oh, yeah. I, i had a uh, multiple examples so one always stands out to me is like you know one of uh one of a good friend actually mm-hmm. he he's a good friend of mine um became good friend later okay first <laughs> stranger <laughs> okay. so uh, th- th- this guy um from from a uh, uh, bigger city yeah. not from windsor i don't want to say name because if i say the name by the story he will know it's him so <laughs> it's a bigger city <laughs> not away from windsor um he had a very good friend Uh, who is a local realtor there mm. he bought his property there with him and they have a very good relation yeah so you know because they have a very good relation this guy told him you know i'll give you 1% off if you work with me okay. so he got that 20 you know he is like you know only thinking of 1% off right, right. then you know they started looking at properties online mm. and they came down one weekend they looked at some properties um and they went and wrote an offer yeah. form offer got accepted deal done okay and i got a call um after 6 months because during this period mm-hmm. he got to know our social media they saw yeah. the videos and all he called me up bro you know um i'm i'm thinking of selling this property mm-hmm. and then i started to ask more questions uh what happened what was the reason why you want to sell one he said 
um, my realtor, you know, he, he, he couldn't help me with the management. Okay. Yes, yeah. of course, because and 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 the, they just found someone online, mm -hmm. and Nobody they were not it. working out. Yeah. And they're having actually more headaches. Yeah. And the rent is not coming. Right. And uh, on top of it, when he said he wants to sell, mm -hmm. um, he also has some other financial commitments. And I looked at the data. You know, the property was sold just few months before he bought it. Mm -hmm for almost 150,000 less and nothing wow. changed in the property. Wow. And these guys didn't even look at it. They made firm offer. Yeah. Luckily, the market was appreciating. This is like in 2021 or 2020 in that, mm -hmm. you know, when the market was peak. Right, right. Luckily, with our marketing, you know, with all, you know, we were able to get him out without any losses. Mm. And the same property, <laughs> now Kuldeep got for his client. Yeah. For almost seventy or eighty thousand less than what these guys paid, or like sold for, sold for. Sold for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, one the realtor did not have a data. Yeah. They just blindly went with the what listing agent told them. That is true. Oh, you know, we have seven offers or ten offers. Yeah. Uh, here is what seller is looking for, mm -hmm. and these guys just gave that offer. Yeah. They didn't yeah. even pull the history of the property. They didn't right. pull the sales in that area. They didn't do inspection yeah. and they had some problem, problems in water issues in the property. Right. right. So they didn't do the inspection. <laughs> so all these things would have been avoided. So all the, all the mistakes that you can think of, they happened made that, oh, that one property. <laughs> now, you know, just tell yourself, like, you know, if he's a good friend, um, at least if he is a smart agent, yeah. the friend, he would have said, you know what, let me find someone for you someone and I'll refer friend. you. Yeah. Yeah. Someone good here. Yeah. You know, again, not every realtor is a good one. Um, you got to find, you know, who is being transparent, you know, mm -hmm. who will give you right advice, not just blindly sell because anyone can sell. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But not everyone have your best interest. How will you know that? Have a discussions. You know, even when you're calling us, talk to a couple of agents, mm -hmm. ask them different questions, see right. how everyone reacts. Right. You know, who understand your needs better? Who... Yeah. Can, who has the expertise that you're looking for, you know, then work with them, not just because, you know, your neighbor, your friend, your family, yeah. Yeah. because, you know, the mistakes are much more expensive in real estate. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. Expensive. And coming back to the, to the data thing, right? Yeah. So, uh, like everything is available nowadays on Google. You can find local property managers, you can find local contractors. But again, the thing is, if you work with somebody local, like a local agent, yeah. he will introduce you to his contacts who are actually vested, yep. who have done work with him. That makes huge difference. Yep. Right? Uh, you might find somebody on Google ha who has like five star reviews, yes. right? But then maybe the reality is something else. Yeah. Not every right? review is genuine. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, like this, this has <laughs> happened with uh, with me as well. Uh, when I was investing, right? So I was looking at different property managers, different contractors yeah. uh, in, in Windsor area. And then uh, at that, uh, this is like a couple of years ago. And there was one guy uh, who was actually not in Windsor. He was a contractor and uh, he moved from some other city, but he saw that there is a lot of activity in Windsor, like people are buying mm. properties, renovating them. So he started like working Do here you. locally, right? And then I see him like, on uh, on uh, he was with the connected in connection with various other investors and this and that and I was like okay this guy must have been doing good and he knows his stuff so let me just talk to him right? yeah and I like talk to him in term on the basis of his like reviews and this and that right and then my experience with him like I that guy's attitude and ego was at the next level. <laughs> and like I got quote, quote from like three, four contractors for a job and his quotes were surprisingly so high. Oh, wow. And then I was thinking that how come like other people are working with, with this guy? Like I can't trust my money with mm. him, right? So that's how like when you connect with with local agents who have been through so many things, yep. have worked with so many people, they can tell you that, hey, this guy is so and so, yeah. yeah. This yeah, guy is this person. guy is that, right? Yeah. So they can guide you. And that will eventually save you a lot of time, a lot of your money, yeah. a lot of your uh, stress as well. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So uh, because I see like uh, new investors, 
when they take on a project, they get really stressful because yeah. they are not able to manage it properly, right? And they don't have someone who is accountable. Yeah. Yes. Because, yeah. you know, if, if the property manager doesn't respond, you know, yeah. we get how many calls. Like, oh, yeah. if the property manager doesn't respond or if our leasing agent doesn't respond, I get a call. Yeah. Because, you know, or you get a call. Like, now we can just, hey, why the fuck you're not responding our client right. calls? Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. we can yes. go. Exactly. Yeah. We can just go talk to the yeah. property manager. We or, are locally here. Yeah. Or if the option A is not working, we'll give them option B. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. But if you are not local, if you don't know anyone in the market, what solution are you providing? Yeah. And yeah. you know, you don't have they the piece of money. thinking about uh, bringing someone from their town, like they brought a realtor, but that's <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> and probably the cost will go up. You have to pay yeah. for their accommodation, yeah. food, yeah. drinks. Obviously. Logistically, it's not possible. Yeah. Right? yeah. So that's the thing. Unless you have a big apartment building or something, yeah. you know, that then, it, then it's a different sense. story. Yeah. But you know, that's the thing, right? Like all these things, many people don't think. Um, because it just doesn't end with purchase. It's a journey. Yes. For yeah, that's long. The yeah, exactly. Between, between yeah. the buyer and then for the buyer himself also, it's a journey for him. Yeah. Journey with the property. Again, you know, this suggestions doesn't just apply for Windsor. We are generally yeah, talking, easy. you know, yeah. whichever the city you're moving in, because we are seeing this trend. People are moving from bigger cities yeah. to, to smaller cities. Suburbs. Cities, to smaller suburbs. Cities, yeah. But still, because they don't know anyone mm -hmm. personally, they go with the people they know. They know, yeah. So it's not that hard. Plan, you're planning to move to a city, go meet down people yeah. or go have Zoom calls. Zoom calls, check out their profile, check out their ratings, you know, how many ratings they have, how, what people are talking about them, yeah. um, what kind of value they're providing to their clients, you know, what do you see right. about them, you know, what is their experience in the business, uh, what is their experience with the real estate, yeah. you can easily find people. But, you know, if you try to constrain, I don't know physically, then mm -hmm. just Take a trip down. Right, right. One weekend. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's a part of the due diligence that you have to do. Yeah. No one else is going to do it for you. This is like, okay, realtors are local realtors are there to support you, to help you if you are in a situation, right? But at the same time, like you also have to make some decision. You have to talk yeah. to multiple people, right? And exactly. then come to a, to a conclusion that, okay, I'm going to work with this guy. I'm yeah. going to work with this guy. Right? Because, so, you know, sometimes... Maybe I like one person. Yeah. You might mm -hmm. not like the same person. That's true. You know, if we like everyone, yeah. everyone likes the same person, we all married to one girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, have at, so, they have to look at all the options available and figure out and uh, make a, an interview. Who's your girl? <laughs> 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 so, you know, that it's, it's, a, it's, it's a process. You know, you're, it's your biggest investment. Don't be lazy in that area. Yeah. You know, because, you know, the right people, right team, help you to grow you know honestly like i always go back to my story how i started mm -hmm. i had no one in windsor mm -hmm. my realtor you know who started win city yeah. who was my realtor yeah. for four or five transactions yeah. because of her you know her contacts property manager you know different contacts i was able to get my first one second one right. you know that's how your you know, portfolio yeah. grew that's too how right I did. And I I had this realtor license over there in Toronto as well. Yeah. But still, like I bought my properties in Windsor through Aditya because it's not about uh, saving saving the commission, yeah. saving the two and a half percent commission. Uh, I was more like, okay, uh, because Aditya has helped me buy my property, so I'm gonna stick with him because I trust him. Right? He has helped me at so many times uh, with different like contacts. So why do I have to? go there myself and buy my properties like i'm gonna use his expertise yeah and also the negotiations right negotiations. like you know for that uh, six unit building you got yeah you yeah. know our, our agent was able to negotiate you a good that's deal true. that's true you know yeah. if if you were working yourself you might not be able to do the same negotiation yeah because you don't know the you know yeah. you know if you want to learn you can learn yeah that's the reality and to, to just give you a small example like uh, we know nowadays uh, like most of the properties the listing agents they listed it low yeah hmm. right we get so many inquiries from our clients that hey check out this house this is listed for like 350 <laughs> but we know that it's not going to sell for 350 yeah, right? yeah the the market price is something else now if you are not a local agent and you don't have these uh, the sold data with you 
how are you going to tell that okay this house is listed low and it's going to sell for yeah. maybe this this range and a lot of people go with the average oh average properties are selling for 100000 more <laughs> Yeah, what if like, it has yeah. some foundation issue it's actually would sell yeah, yeah. for the same price or maybe lower price yeah, yeah and uh, yes. not only that it it's not only about the data and the price if you look at it sometimes in this in a transaction we have to maintain a good cordial relationship with the other agent with the other, other yeah, yeah other, very good point yeah that person the seller we have to know what the story is when you have a good relation you will know the story yeah that will help your buyer yeah 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 actually that connections that connection help matters for yes. negotiation especially yeah. to to get the right terms yes. right the price it, it is a relationship business sale yeah uh, end of the day right so we build that relationship with our clients yeah with other agents too with the industry professionals it can be contractors property managers right mm-hmm. and, and that takes you takes you further Yeah. yeah and even you know the connections with the local realtors mm-hmm. itself also makes a difference you know right. how many leads we how, how many properties we get from off market deals yes. yeah pocket, pocket, listings, pocket listings pocket listings from other realtors from other investors yeah, because true. we are locally here yeah. people know that we have a you know client base mm-hmm. that are looking for right. we get the deal but you know for out of town guy you know they don't have this pocket listings that's yeah, true very rare yeah. cases you know uh, unless you're really focused on that area right yeah. and you know one more important thing especially for realtors whichever the city you're in if your client or your friend someone moving to another city why don't you save yourself hassle because if you have to go list a property in some other city how much work you have to put in rather if you put the same work in your own city you would make better returns if you have to take a buyer to you know go to the other city <laughs> that reminds me of that uh, phone call that i received for one of my listings and uh, this out of town agent he calls me and he says bro give me the number i can get you an offer because otherwise i have to drive him down and take him back that's a long hassle for me <laughs> 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 and uh, just give me the number but that's not how it happens in the market right yeah <laughs> so if he would have referred to a local agent someone in windsor yeah. yeah they would have taken care of the client and he would have got the 25% 30% whatever referral commission yeah. and he would have like you said invested the time in more mm. productive way in yeah. his own hometown yeah exactly and you know now not only that you're building your network if you you're a realtor let's say you know from toronto i'm a realtor from windsor you know if you're sending business my way you know like we got just the you you dealt i think last week yeah, yeah. or this week uh, you got a lead from where vancouver yeah vancouver realtor sent sent a referral yeah, it was a referral right and he was able to sell the client's property at the same time you got the property yes, here yes would he That's be able to do the same transaction no yeah no. so because he would have to sell fly down to windsor that's a 7 hour flight it's yeah. not going to happen 20 10 hour flight yeah exactly but now he was able to sell that property and at the same time made his client happy because he got a good mm. you know f- uh, team here so he tells you know that's my extended team yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. we work together like and you guys word. communicating yeah, yeah. And, and you guys again coming no, back to the same example that i earlier gave so yeah. if this gentleman he called some other realtor and he would have given the number then without seeing the property he made his buyer put an offer right? mm. which is not good for him and his buyer yeah yeah no, that's, that's that's very know. true and it's it's vice versa right even we recommend some agents in toronto when we have a client looking to buy yeah. in toronto and i think it's very important to have that abundance uh, mindset rather than thinking that okay i'm going to lose my commission on this one like think big there is yeah. there is something for everyone here and everyone has to like enjoy yeah. their own own share and own hard work right so uh, you just like help uh, end of the day it's a karma thing right so and you it you, comes you, back yeah it comes back to you yeah. so not only that right like you know it's also now you're building better relations, relations. with your clients yeah. you know now you refer to someone good in that area mm. now you still have good relation with this client yes. instead of you said yeah. you will drive down or yeah. your weekend your kids were busy right. or your family your wife asked you to go out yeah. now you didn't show up now the relation is getting spoiled with that client That's instead true. you just referred yeah. your you know you just keep in touch with the realtor mm-hmm. make sure your client is getting taken care yeah. you get your referral yeah. and what this the client going to do he got some value from you mm-hmm. he's going to give you, you back yeah. yeah so you know it's it's a it's actually very eco friendly way 
you mm-hmm. can build better business, better business mm-hmm. yeah. and you can become more productive you can spend your time with your family now you don't have to skip your weekends yeah, that's true. you know you don't have to go away from your family yeah. so you know a lot of benefits in in building a team mm-hmm. you know i think that's why we as investors yeah. do you manage your properties no i don't yeah. I, even I, though i'm local i don't manage them myself exactly yeah. We don't do renovations ourselves. We yeah. don't do, you know, we don't manage. do, we don't do leasing. We have a dedicated leasing guy. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we don't do that, right? So, exactly. Yeah. Because that's not our expertise. Yes. It's the same way. Yeah. If Toronto is my, not my expertise, I bought properties in Toronto, in Calgary. I didn't buy by myself. Right. Even though I could have just, you know, looked online and all. Mm-hmm. But if I need some help, yeah. I have this guy to call yeah. because, you know, he's my agent. He, I gave business. Mm-hmm. Now I have some bonding here because yeah. there was give and take yeah i yeah. gave some value you know i, I gave business yeah. i can ask for value anytime That's yes true. when i need some help i can just pick up my phone bro can you give me contacts for this 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 yeah. or can you find out some contacts for me yeah. yeah that's easy then you know we are trying to save up that commission or whatever mm-hmm. so yeah. you know let's build a better relations and save ourselves time yeah and, and 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 pick the right people and grow together and grow, and grow together. together yeah so yeah that's pretty much it guys and thank you so much for bearing us so far any topics that you want us to do you know this kind of style like podcast um because you know now i feel like i got so bored just me talking <laughs> i want to bring fresh thoughts yeah. you know new ideas to the table so you can learn more yeah. and we all can grow together so let me know in the comments below what topics you want us to do more and with that if you loved this video please make sure hit that like and share with your friends who might be get helpful from me from this video that thank you so much guys thank you so much thanks a lot have a good yeah. day